welcome back to my channel. It's Sophia. I've got some exciting news because this is the first episode of my business series that I will be posting weekly videos of basically things that you probably should know when you're running a business centered around grazing tables. Now, today's video is not necessarily something you have to do or that you have to know. It's just something that I think a lot of people might want to consider doing, especially during a pandemic and what I'm talking about. So add-ons are great because there's really zero overhead when it comes to most add-ons. You can just put it out there to your clients, take a photo of one of these things, whether it's a mocktail or it's um, a floral arrangement. Go make one, put it out there, offer it, put a price tag on it and see if anyone takes a bite and if not, move on to the next thing. But that's such a great, easy, quick way to see if that's going to benefit you and your business. So getting into these add-ons, I have done most of these add-ons um, prior in my business and I'm gonna give you guys some pros and some cons on a few of them and let's get to it. Okay. So first things first, I would say floral arrangements are great. You don't have to be a professional florist to know how to put together an arrangement. I'm assuming if you have an eye for um, creating art on a flat lay, you can have an eye for creating art in a vase. And so that's why I recommend, uh, recommend this to a lot of my clients because florals are so much fun and it's like, not food. So you're not going to lose business because you're selling flowers and people need flowers. So, um, that's one of my favorite things to offer. And the price point on these vary depending on where you are and how much you're spending on the flowers. But, um, I like to put myself below, uh, a florist so that, so that they're likely to hire me over that florist. I've had a couple wedding opportunities where when the client called me for the grazing table, I asked if they wanted to do any add-ons. And those things were, I asked for, I said we could do a cheese wheel cake, which this is a little sidebar, but I wouldn't automatically just make a cheese wheel cake for people. Um, that was extra because I like to get big, beautiful wheels and stack them up and then it takes time to kind of style it in my head. So that was always an additional add-on. Cutlery is always an add-on. Um, and then the floral arrangement is something that I would offer them. So I kind of did research locally and would see, okay, how much do they charge for a vase of flowers or if they want three arrangements, what's that price? How can I be competitive with the other florists around me? Because I wanna get out there, I wanna get my bouquets out there, etc. so you get it. Okay, add-on number two, is mocktails. Now I have a separate video on how to make mocktails and like different types of recipes you can use. If you do want to use those, check that video out here. I'm going to link it right up here. Hopefully it works. I know a lot of people say they're linking and then it's never there. And where's that video? Some pros and then I'll get into a couple cons. Pros of mocktails are they're A, so aesthetically pretty. B, you don't have to have a liquor license to do mocktails. Obviously they're virgin. Um, and then C, a lot of people are going to want mocktails if you offer them, believe it or not. The cons with mocktails is that I did them several times and then when someone wanted me to do mocktails for over 200 people, that's when I didn't feel like I was prepared enough. However, I made it happen. Um, which it was so crazy. We ended up getting like, it was those big jugs, those big water bottle jugs. I had to put them in there. They wanted this butterfly blue tea that I had. And then we did this kombucha lemonade and we had to get so many pitchers and so many big water bottles and lug them all over. And um, it wasn't that like dainty little ice cubes and then handcrafted cocked mocktail made at the event, here you go. It was like bulky, not corporate, but it just felt like this is really big. And at the time, I didn't feel like I could handle that. Looking back at it, looking back at that time, I probably would have a little bit more help. Um, it was just three of us girls. We could have probably used some muscles. Um, 
I had two other assistants helping me on that event. But long story short, um, just be prepared for a large order because I was doing mocktails. They were beautiful in photos. People loved them um, and they were very unique, especially for a baby shower. No one's drinking, so I made really cute glasses and coupe glasses, um, cocktails and coupe glasses. So that's just one option um, for an add-on. And then don't be so afraid of my con. I just wanted to share that with you that I was not anticipating 200 people wanting mocktails, but I didn't turn it down. I wanted to get the experience under my belt and I made it happen and yeah. Okay, and then add on number three is drop ship shop. So I used to have one of these and I'm working on a separate one, but what a drop ship shop is, it's not what everyone talks about where they do it off of Alibaba or AliExpress or whatever. Drop shipping can happen through any brand or any company. So if you go to someone on Etsy and you really like their cheese knives or their resin boards or something customized that they have, like an apron, um, you can reach out to them and you can say, hey, I love your product. Um, I'd love to feature it on my website would you mind offering me a 10% off coupon code or whatever it is if we feature you? Now, here's what happens. If you have an Etsy apron on your website and I go to your website and I buy it through you, if that apron costs you $5 and it's on there for $15, you've already upsailed and made a profit, but that money goes to you. Then you go to Etsy to that seller and you go buy it and then you send it to them. So you have zero overhead inventory. You don't have to keep anything in your house. It's kind of genius. One that's kind of on the same realm of dropship is Amazon affiliate program. Check it out. Uh, you just set up a shop on there with all your favorite items and then you can have a blog on your website, which I totally recommend, especially if you're in like a town that's competitive with other grazing table companies and people are wanting them. When they Google grazing tables LA, you want to be on that first page at least. So having a blog helps that. It's called SEO and that will help drive traffic to your website. So blogs can feature like recipes and things like that. We can go into that on another video. This is picnics. You can make the most beautiful picnics however you want. I love these boho pompous grass, like meditation poofs with a grazing board and champagne. Ugh, I just think they're so beautiful. The picnic that I did, so I've only done one picnic and I offered it at a discount to an influencer and I went and I got a um, six foot low top farm table customized made from somebody and I spent a lot of money on it. That basically was what she paid me. I spent on just that table. So now to know everything else, now that you know I already burned my money on just that table, I bought 30 pillowcases. I bought cotton to stuff them because I was like, I need to make my own pillows because I can't afford to buy a bunch of $40 poofs. So I made 30 pillows. Um, I had to buy all the food for the grazing table runner. And then as an add-on, cause you heard me say earlier in this video, a lot of the times when I'm on the phone with the client, I say, do you guys want any add-ons? So long story short, I came out negative on that event and it was such a great experience and it was so beautiful and it was indoors. So it wasn't like one of those really cool beach ones, but this is kind of, this whole thing is kind of like a pro con, mix it, take what you want from it. But Going forward, if I were to do this again, I would keep my inventory smaller um, and keep it consistent. So I would use the same things on each picnic. Okay, so that is it, you guys, for my add-ons today. And I will see you next week. Be sure to subscribe and comment below if there's anything you guys wanna see in the future videos that I have planned up for you. All right.